make you wanna shout Blippi! Can you guess what's happening today? Oh, it has to do with games! Yeah, but not just one game, lots of games! Wow. Because we're going to play the coolest, biggest, most fun, most ultimate, Bolivian Mika's Game, game Show! Yeah! Two teams will compete on either Team Mika uh -huh. or Team Flippy. And they'll play challenges and fun trivia games, all for a chance to win an, an awesome, awesome prize! prize. <laughs> Are you ready, Team Captain Mika? I'm ready, Team Captain Blippi. Are you ready for, for the, the game, game show? With Blippi and Mika, come on. Nice to meet you, Mom and Dad. And what are your names? I'm Evelyn and that's Zachary. Hi, Everett and Zachary. Oh, and I also wanted to ask, how old are you two? I'm seven and he's seven. Seven and seven? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's cool, the same age. Well, I know your parents age too. A hundred and a hundred and one. Oh, <laughs> Silly. Oh, and I also had a question. What are your favorite animals? Uh, cobra. cobra. The cobra? Whoa, that's a cool animal. I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> All right, time to meet Team Mika! Yeah. What are your names? I'm Mike. Hey, Mike. I'm Heather. Heather and Mike, welcome. And what are your Thank names? You. Ryan, Ryan, Justin. Ryan and Justin. And my question for you is, what are your favorite hobbies? Things you like to do for fun? Golf, mini golf. Ooh. Soccer. Ooh, soccer's a lot of fun. Ryan and Justin, how old are you? Six. Six and a half. Six oh, and a half. Six and a half? Awesome. Wait a minute. Seven and seven. Six and a half and six and a half. Are you both twins? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that sounds really great. And it sounds like everyone's ready to start playing. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's play rock, paper, scissors to see which team goes first. Whoa, okay. All right, Justin, come on up. Okay, yeah, come up here. Okay, and we're gonna go on the word go. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go rock, paper, scissors, go, and then we'll see who wins. Ready? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, go! go! A tie! <laughs> No. Okay, let's try it again. Try again. Rock, rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors go! go! Yeah. Well, paper does beat rock, so yes. Team Blippi goes first! And Mika's team will go second. Oh, team Blippi! Oh, team Blippi! Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to start playing Blippi and Mika's game show? above two teammates' heads. One is full of ball pit balls, and the other is filled with water. Whoa! <laughs> I sure did get soaked. At the end of each game, there will be a chance for a bonus trivia question. Let's get started. First up, Team Blippi. Okay, it's time to go. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one, go! Here we go! Oh, See you on the other it. side! Oh, Woo We need all four flags before you can finish. You got it. Yeah, come on. yeah. Zach, back here. Let's find another flag. This is really tricky sometimes. See another flag? You're so close. Zach's getting close. 
answer. He has two of the four flags. Oh, I can't wait for him to find them all. Oh, nice, Zach. You're getting so much closer. Yeah, three flags. Nice, one more flag. Woo, nice. I'll see you at the end. Go, go, go. Run to the end. We have all the flags. Woo go, he has all the flags. It's time for the trivia question. Yes! Mm -hmm. Remember, you have 30 seconds to answer. And you can guess as many times as you want until you get it right, but you only have 30 seconds. Here's the question. What is the fourth letter of the alphabet? D. 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 <laughs> That's it! We did it! Woo! Yeah, go Team Blippi! Next up, Team Mika. You have 30 seconds once we say what the question is, and you can guess as many times as you want. All right, here we go. What do bees make? Honey, 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 honey. 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 Yeah, you did it! Yeah. Team Mika got the trivia yeah. question! Great job, Mike! Now it's time for the next game! Uh. Woo! What contestant will use this construction vehicle to go through the obstacle course to get to the sand pit? Once they've made it to the sand pit, they need to dig up letters to spell their team captain's name. Either Mika <laughs> or my name, Flippy. <laughs> yeah, and once they've dug up all the letters, you'll take the letters to the board and place them correctly to spell the team captain's name. Yes, but remember, it's a race against the clock. So the team that completes the challenge the fastest wins. Woohoo! <laughs> team Blippi. Okay, Everett, it's time for Smash and Dig on the count of three. Ready? We'll count down. Three, two, one. Go! Whoa! Oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh
Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, Everett, check Ooh, over so here. Oh, whatever. Everett, check over by this yellow block. Oh, I see something. Whoa, oh, nice yeah. job. Great job. Woo. Three more letters. You're really I'm close. Right what was that? Yeah. yeah. Nice one. Yeah. Hmm, where does that go? Uh, Whoa. Nice. Whoa. You both are doing so good. Okay, Two. Aaron, you're allowed to, to help too. Okay, here we go. Parents. We have an L I P P, but no E and no I. Two seven zero. That's silly. B. Okay, we need one more. Getting closer. Yeah, you're getting closer. Yeah, we found it! Nice job, Team Whoa, Team Blippi! B-L-I-P-P-I! Yeah! Team Blippi! It's trivia time. It's time for the trivia question. Time to put our knowledge to the test with some trivia. Here is the question. In which sport do you have to kick a ball while using your feet? Soccer. Soccer. Soccer! Yeah, yeah. that's it! Team yeah. Blimey gets the answer! Yeah. 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 Team Mika! All right, Team Mika! Three, two, one! Go! Yeah! Here we go! Where should it go? Hmm. Yeah, Perfect. great. We got oh, one nice. letter already. Oh, oh nice. Second you found letter. a K. Hey, great it. job, friends. Hmm. So we have E and a K, but we're missing some other letters. Oh, and an H. We're halfway there, Team Mika. OK, is that another letter? Oh. Wait a minute. Oh. Mika. Miko. Oh, that's not the right letter. Harriet, you can help me. Let's get some help from Paris. Yeah. Mm, keep looking in the center. Right. Oh, there we go. We the have two more letters left. Oh, and oh, eight. Keep looking. You're getting warmer. <laughs> yeah. All right. Keep going. Try Woo. the center. There might be something in the center. Any, any. Yeah, right here. We need an oh, yeah. Give me an A. Getting close. <laughs> Good One job, more friends. letter. The letter A. Keep digging. Just Later. Here we go. You're getting closer. <laughs> Good job, Team getting... Mika. Yeah, yeah. We found the edge. Awesome. You did it, Team it's Mika. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's trivia time. OK, Team Mika, it's trivia time. And remember, you have 30 seconds to guess, and you can guess as much as you'd like. All right. Okay. What is the job of a person who travels into outer space? What are they called? Mm. What are they called? Astronaut! 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 Astronaut!
over here. Trivia, 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 trivia question. Oh, trivia, trivia. The trivia question is, in the nursery rhyme, what kind of animal did Mary have? What did she have? She 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 no, 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 Trivia. Fill in the blank. Flippy loves the game Sink or... No! Oh, yeah, that's right! I do love that game. It's so much fun. <laughs> yeah, so many things float and so many things sink. And wait a minute, Team Mika, you got the extra point! Yeah! Yeah! Whoa. Whoa. We did all the games and now it's time to count the score! Yeah! <laughs> it's score time! What? Oh, yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, 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 this just in. Even if you don't win, you have a chance to win a fun prize by answering a bonus question. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but now I think it's time to tally up the score. So here we go. <clears throat> Game number one, the bouncing bonanza. bonanza. The winner is... Team Mika! Timika, you also won the trivia. trivia, so you get another belt. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, but for the bouncing bonanza, Team Blippi also got trivia, so yeah. you get a pair of glasses. Right. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. For game two, smash and dig. Winner is Team Blippi. Team Blippi. Yeah. 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 Here we go. Another pair of glasses. And both teams got points for the trivia in that round. Yeah! Nice. So we're getting yeah. a lot of glasses! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, we're getting a lot of glasses now. Okay. <clears throat> Game number three, Dino Egg Quest. It's neck and neck. The winner of the third game is... Team Blippi! Got the trivia point. So yeah. we get another pair of glasses. Yeah. 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 And Team Mika also gets a bow for answering the trivia. Awesome. Well, now it's time job, to guys. count up the scores. Okay, Team Mika, let's count our points. Mm -hmm. Score. Yeah, one, two, yeah. three, four. <laughs> and for Team Blippi, we have five. one, two, three, four, five <laughs> orange glasses. <laughs> that means Team Blippi wins. Yeah. Yeah. You have a chance to win a prize Ooh. with a trivia question. <laughs> okay, what are Blippi's two favorite colors? Blue and orange! Whoa, Team Mika wins! Yeah! Team Mika wins! Yeah! Woohoo! Here you go! Amazing! Whoa! So, Team Mika wins and Team Blippi wins! They get a year membership to Discovery Cube! Discovery Cube is a children's museum. The perfect place to be curious and learn through play. Well, I think all this fun calls for a uh, Blippi and Mika dance, dance party. party. Let's hit the music. Wrapped a roll with Mika. It's so much fun playing with. 
you all for playing Blippi and Mika's game show with us. Uh -huh. You know, that is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can all of you spell my name with us? Yeah! yeah! Here we go. Ready? B, B L I P P I. You can't catch me, Mika. Oh, yeah? Look out for my ultimate cartwheel. Here I come. Whoa, whoa, Watch out. Whoa. 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 A secret clearing. You're right, Tabs and Debo. This does look like a perfect spot for a playground. Hmm. I wonder, what would it be like to build the ultimate Blippi playground? Great question. Let's design it and build it. All right. First, we need a big play structure. Maybe it can look like a rocket. That's a great idea, Mika. It's going to need lots of shade. Looking great, Debo and Tabs. Hmm. Next, we'll need a zip line. Whee! <laughs> oh, yeah! And a musical bridge. Yeah! Oh, wow! We definitely need a slide. All right. Whoa! Whee! Yeah! Uh-oh, Blippi! Looks like a storm is brewing! Five minutes until rain! Oh, no! We better hurry! How about a racetrack? Four minutes until rain! We definitely need a stage! Whoa! Whoa! Three minutes until rain! We definitely need a splash pool! Until rain! Ow! And we definitely need a, a ball pit. pit! Wow! Yikes! One minute to rain! Take cover, everyone! Whoa! We did it! Yar! I'm Captain Blippy. Let's set sail for the open seas. Yar! Aye, aye, Captain! Whoa! 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 Land ho! Yeah! <laughs> hmm, something is missing. That's it! <laughs> it's perfect! And I have the answer to my question. What's it like to build the ultimate Blippi playground? It's Blippi-tastic! Upload answer, Debo and Tabs. Awesome work, everyone! This calls for a celebration. Yeah! It's me, Blippi! And today, we're here at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania! Woohoo! Yeah, this is a ballpark home to the Philadelphia Phillies! <laughs> yeah, and I just love baseball! So much fun to go watch a game at a ballpark or hit a home run! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, and you know, there are a lot of different jobs that help make a baseball game happen! <laughs> I'm really excited because today you and I get to learn about those jobs and play some baseball. Woohoo! Whoa, look at where we are! The yard! Hmm, I wonder what this place is. Let's go! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Whoa, 
check it out! A real life baseball player! <laughs> Let's go say hi. <laughs> hi! Hi, Blippi, how are you? Oh, hi, it's nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Mickey Morandini, and I used to play for the Phillies, and I played in a World Series. No way! A real life professional baseball player that played in the World Series and for the Phillies? Whoa, that's amazing. Yeah, that was pretty cool playing in the World Series. That sounds so fun. Well, today we're learning about different jobs at the ballpark. Do you think you could teach me a little bit about being a baseball player? I know I can. <laughs> Great. Well, when you played baseball, what position did you play? Now, I played second base. That's one of the guys that's in the infield. Whoa. And my job was to catch ground balls mm -hmm. and throw it to the first baseman so we could get the guy out. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to make the other team get a home run very important to be an infielder or an outfielder. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you think you could teach me how to play some baseball? I know I can. <laughs> Great. Well, what's the first thing to be a baseball player? The first thing is you have to learn how to throw the ball and catch the ball. Oh, OK. Well, hmm. Ooh. maybe we could use one of these. I think we can use that. This is called a wiffle ball. Oh. So we don't have to throw it really fast because it's really light oh. and it's easy to catch <laughs> and it's easy to throw. Oh, great, yeah. Looks like there are little gaps there so it slows it down so it doesn't go too fast. <laughs> okay, well, what's the first thing about throwing it? First thing about throwing is you want to put two fingers over the top of the ball. Okay. If you have really small hands, you can even put three fingers. Well, like that? Like that, that's perfect. <laughs> oh. And then you just Bring your hand back, and then you let it go. <laughs> okay, just like this, two fingers or three fingers if it's easier. Bring the ball back and throw! Woohoo! Perfect! Whoa, that was awesome! That was very good, Mickey. <laughs> ah, thanks, Mickey. <laughs> okay, so now that I know how to throw it, what about catching? All right, catching's pretty simple too. The most important thing is you have to keep your eyes on the ball. You okay. cannot catch the ball if you're not looking at it. Mm -hmm, that makes sense. <laughs> so you just throw the ball, it's coming, and you want to catch it with two hands. Oh, with two hands. So you one hand to catch it and the other one to, to make... To secure it. Mm -hmm. You don't want it falling away. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, and also, I see baseball players wearing gloves. Do we need gloves for wiffle balls? Not for wiffle balls, because they're really light. But for a baseball, you definitely need a glove. Okay, great. Well, could we play a game of catch? I would love that. Okay, here we go. Let's back up a little right. bit and play some catch. Ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Whoa. Good catch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Good throw. Oh, nice. Whoa, Very this is so nice. fun. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like a real baseball player. <laughs> oh, but Mickey, when I watch a baseball game, I see people running around the bases and hitting the ball. How do you do that? Well, hitting's a little more difficult than throwing and catching, <laughs> but we're gonna teach you how to hit. Whoa. So the first thing you wanna do is grab a bat. Whoa. And you are right-handed, is mm -hmm. that correct? Yeah, I use my right hand. <laughs> there you go. So you put your left hand on the bottom of the bat, and you put your right hand right on top. Whoa. Then you spread your legs a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Okay. Raise your hands to shoulder level, hands back, and then you swing. Okay, here we go. Time to swing the wiffle bat. Here we go. One, two, three. Perfect. Whoa, that was awesome. Well, now that we learned throwing, catching, and hitting the ball with the bat, do you think we could play a game together? I would love that. Okay, let's do it. <laughs>
again. <laughs> you were awesome. Aw, thanks. Well, I had a really great teacher. <laughs> and you were a very good student. Aw, thanks so much. <laughs> but after all that hard work, whew, I'm starting to get a little hungry. Well, if you're hungry, I know the perfect place for you to go. Oh, where's that? You can go in the stands here, and we have all kind of vendors that come, and they bring food to you. Whoa, well, that sounds amazing and yummy. <laughs> See you later, Mickey. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I just know that we can find a snack somewhere around here. Ooh, maybe we can find a snack that's spicy. <gasps> or sweet. Mm. Or salty. <laughs> uh, well, keep your eyes and ears open for a snack. Popcorn. Popcorn here. You hear that? <laughs> Popcorn. Popcorn could be a really, really tasty treat. <laughs> oh, and look. <laughs> Oh, hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, Blippi. I'm Samantha. Oh, Samantha, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, is that popcorn on your head? It is. <laughs> Whoa, that's fun. Well, I was looking for a snack. Could I have some popcorn, please? Of course. Whoa, <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> Here you go. <gasps> Whoa, some yummy popcorn. <laughs> this is a great snack. Oh, and Samantha, we're learning about different jobs at the ballpark. Hmm, what do you do for your job? Well, here I walk up and down the stairs selling popcorn to all the fans. Oh, that sounds fun. Wait a minute. You sell popcorn to all the fans on all the stands in the entire ballpark? I do. Whoa! That's a lot of popcorn. <laughs> and a lot of people too. <laughs> oh, well, this is really, really yummy. <laughs> oh, and I saw that you had the popcorn on your head. Did that take a long time to practice? It did. It took about a month, but I've well, been here for seven years. Oh, well, you're really good at your job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, also, I love popcorn, but do you have a favorite snack? Well, I love popcorn just as much as you. No way! You love popcorn yep. and I love popcorn! <laughs> yeah! Popcorn party. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Blippi. Bye, Samantha. Bye. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to eat some popcorn. Yeah, it was so nice of Samantha to give us some for our snack. <laughs> it's gonna be so tasty. Yum! <laughs> What's this? <laughs> hmm, it landed in my popcorn. A hot dog? <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> huh, I've never seen a hot dog flying through the air before. Hmm, I wonder where it came from. Wait a minute, I see the Philly fanatic. Yeah, that's the Philly's mascot. Wonder if he knows where this hot dog came from. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Hi, Philly fanatic, I'm Blippi. <laughs> oh, I really like your eyelashes, they're so blue. <laughs> Wait a minute, did you launch that hot dog? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> but how did you launch it? With that? You want me to get up there? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Ooh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. It's the Philly Fanatics Hot Dog Launcher. Woo <laughs> Time to go for a ride and make some hot dogs fly. Woo! <laughs> Right there. That was so much fun, 
fanatic. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun launching all those hot dogs and playing. <laughs> but you are the mascot for the Phillies, so one of your jobs is pumping up the crowd, right? <laughs> yeah, it's really fun to get the crowd so excited. And I heard that you're really good at dancing. <laughs> Do you think you could teach me some of your moves? Okay, <laughs> let's dance. Whoa, check it out. Do the dance with us. Some twists. Yeah, twists like the fanatic. Whoa, <laughs> well, good job. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> oh, there's another move. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, that's silly. <laughs> yeah, dance with us. Just like you're playing with the hula hoop. Okay, here we go. Time to dance. Whoa! 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 <laughs> yeah! Well, that was really good. <laughs> Thanks for teaching me how to dance like the fanatic. <laughs> but did you know that I like to dance too? Well, would you mind learning some of my dance moves? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, try dancing along with us. Okay, now we're gonna do jiggly arms. Woo! <laughs> yeah, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, you're good at that move. <laughs> oh, and sometimes I also like to dance like a robot, flippy robot. Whoa, those are some fun dance moves. Yeah, I'm already so excited to watch a baseball game. Yeah, woo. Well, thank you so much for teaching me what it takes to be a mascot. Woohoo! I'll see you soon. Oh, but wait, I think we can dance a little more and put it all together. Okay, here we go. That was so much fun today. Yeah, we got to learn baseball from Mickey Morandini. Yeah, we learned all about vendors and popcorn from Samantha. And we even got to launch some flying hot dogs with the Philly Fanatic. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. Ready? B L I. P-P-I, Philippi, good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. I'm gonna keep watching the Phillies practice. They're pretty good. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Bye. laughs> nice catch, Debo. Do you hear that? That's one cool beat. I can't stop moving. <laughs> Hmm, I wonder, why does music make us want to dance? Hi, Blippi. Hi, Mika. Hey, Benjamin. That was some pretty sweet beatboxing you were doing. Yeah, it made me want to dance. Hey, Benjamin, do you know why music makes us want to move our bodies and dance? I sure do. Just shrink down to my size and I'll show you. All right. Shrinking down! Awesome! Now we're ready to party! Yeah! Hit it, DJ D-Bops! When we hear music, we enjoy the sound of it. This beat makes me want to move my feet! I love this song! And our bodies want to explain how the noise is being made. So we move in a way that matches the rhythm. On the beat! Woo! A classical song! Love your moves, Blippi! Check out yours, Mika! <laughs> now we've got the same moves! Together! Woohoo! Hey, DJ d -bops, pick up that tempo! Flippy, I challenge you to a dance-off! It's on! Dance on! Go, Flippy! Go, Flippy! Break it down, Mika! Having so much 
fun! This beat has a nice ring. It makes me wanna sing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I almost forgot one more thing about dancing. What is it? That it's super fun. Oh, yeah. It's a blast. <laughs> Thanks for answering my question, Benjamin. Music makes us want to dance because our bodies want to match the beat. It's a great way to connect with friends. And it's so much fun. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Who's ready for a dance-off? Round two. <laughs> it's on. Dance on. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! And it looks like there's a dino behind me! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dinosaur! <laughs> Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? <laughs> yeah! It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex! Or T-Rex! <laughs> they were really big dinosaurs! 40 feet long, 12 feet tall! <laughs> and lived a really long time ago! <laughs> I like T-Rexes because they have really big heads and really teeny tiny arms. <laughs> Let's go find some more dinosaurs. Woo. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We're here at a dig site. Yeah, where we can dig up and discover fossils. <laughs> oh, good thing I have my trusty brush. Yeah, when you're digging up fossils, you don't want to use a shovel or your hands. You want to use a brush so it's nice and gentle. Because breaking a fossil could mean losing precious information for a scientific discovery. <laughs> yeah, we basically don't want to break the fossils. Well, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what we can find. Whoa, brushing away. <laughs> brush. Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! It's a fossil! <laughs> I wonder if this is a dinosaur. What kind of creature this could be? Whoa! Hmm! Whoa! <laughs> Check it out! Huh! Are those fingers? Whoa! <laughs> this looks really cool! Gotta keep brushing! Whoa! Did you know that people who work to study dinosaurs, they're called paleontologists. <laughs> yeah, I really like dinosaurs, but I'm not a paleontologist. Yeah, paleontologists, they know all about fossils and dinosaurs. Whoa, they study dinosaurs every day. <laughs> That's a lot of dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> it's a dinosaur bone. Whoa, it looks like we found a foot and we found the body. <laughs> I wonder what's over here. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look, we found its face. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little dinosaur. Well, this isn't a little dinosaur. This looks like a big dinosaur. It looks like a stegosaurus. <laughs> Hello, stegosaurus. Whoa, that's awesome. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> this looks like a really, really big bone. But this isn't a bone, it's a fossil. Hello. <laughs> yeah, well, a fossil might look like a bone, but what happens is a bone falls on the ground and then dirt and mud covers it up. <laughs> then that bone decomposes, it goes away but there's still that space where the bone was and sediment and different material fills it up and turns into a rock. And then a really long time in the future, <laughs> we find it just like this. And that's a fossil that scientists can use to learn about dinosaurs. <laughs> Whoa, check this one out. <laughs> this is a really small fossil. Huh, hmm. this doesn't really look like a dinosaur. Hmm. Doesn't really look like a bone either. I wonder what it is. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but I bet if we ask, a dino expert can tell us. 
<laughs> hey, let's go find a dino expert. Hmm, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Whoa, I really wish I knew what this fossil was. Hmm, Ooh, I see someone, maybe they know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi, what's your name? Hi Blippi, I'm Kevin, oh. and I'm a dino expert. Whoa, no way! It is so nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a dino expert. Maybe he knows what this is a fossil of. <laughs> Whoa, well, Kevin, we found this fossil, but I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, I can totally tell you what this is. This is actually a tooth of an Edmontosaurus. Oh, a tooth? <laughs> Whoa, we didn't know what it was, but it's a tooth of an Edmontosaurus? That's right, yeah, that's this animal right here. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> The Edmontosaurus is so big! <laughs> oh, and look, it does have some teeth up there, and it looks like it has a duck bill. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> yeah, that duck bill was actually used to peck at leaves and pull them off the trees. Whoa, that is amazing! Huh, did it just eat leaves or other things too? Uh, no, this was an herbivore, which means it only eats plants. Whoa, yeah. Some dinosaurs were herbivores. <laughs> that means they like to eat lots of plants but others were carnivores. <laughs> they like to eat meat, and some were omnivores. Yeah, that means they eat meat and vegetables and leaves and plants. <laughs> Whoa, oh, but this tooth looks like lots of teeth. Is this just one tooth? This is just one tooth. It looks like that because uh, this Edmontosaurus used to grind up its food to make it easier to eat. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that kind of reminds me of a cow. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty cool Edmontosaurus. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Its legs are so big. <laughs> Looks like it's really good at walking. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. It used to walk on all fours, but if it needed to get higher, uh, like to get trees, leaves off of the trees, uh, it would stand up on two legs to get more height. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> it could stand up just like you and me, or walk on all fours just like a little puppy dog. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, and I had one other question, Kevin. Yeah? Do all dinosaurs walk on the land? They do, actually. Oh. Yeah. Well, what about dinosaurs that fly in the air or are in the water? Those actually aren't considered dinosaurs. They're called prehistoric creatures. Whoa, prehistoric creatures. Whoa. <laughs> Man, I really hope I can see a prehistoric creature one day. <laughs> hmm. Well, do you know of any prehistoric creatures? I do actually have another one right here. And you know what? He's a little lonely. He needs a friend. Whoa, check it out. It's a prehistoric creature. Whoa. <laughs> and what kind of creature is this? This one's a trilobite. Whoa, a trilobite. <laughs> Well, we need to find this trilobite a friend. <laughs> well, thank you, Kevin, for showing me the trilobite and this amazing dinosaur. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, Kevin. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go find a friend. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many amazing fossils here, just like our little trilobite. Hello. <laughs> yeah, keep your eye out. We might need to find him a friend. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Oh, there's a person. Maybe they can help us. Hi. Hi, Blippi. I'm Laura. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Laura. <gasps> Whoa, and what is that? This is a trilobite, a really big one. Whoa, look. We have a little small trilobite and a really, really big one. <laughs> it's so big. And I bet they're going to be great friends. Oh, yeah. Hey, good friends like to dance. Let's do the trilobite dance. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> these trilobites are really good dancers. <laughs> wow, this is a really amazing fossil. Yeah, and these trilobites, they lived underwater? They did, they are prehistoric arthropods, which means that they're related to bugs and crabs. Whoa, did you hear that? This isn't a dinosaur, no. A trilobite is an arthropod? An arthropod. <laughs> Whoa, that is a really big name. <laughs> it is. But it just means that the trilobite is a really, really old bug. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Laura, is this a dinosaur? 
No, actually, this is a prehistoric marine reptile. <gasps> Whoa, a prehistoric marine reptile? So it's not a dinosaur? No, it's not. Dinosaurs lived on land, but oh. there are other creatures that flew in the sky and swam in the sea, like yeah. this one. This is Tylosaurus. Ooh, hello, Tylosaurus. <laughs> hey, this is a Tylosaurus. This is a Tylosaurus? Yeah, <laughs> it's a Tylosaurus. Ooh, let's give it a name. We should call this Tylosaurus Tyler. <laughs> I think that's a great name. Hello, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> oh, and it looks like Tyler has a lot of teeth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and do you see? Tyler is really, really big. <laughs> he looks almost as big as a T-Rex. <laughs> he is. He's almost the same length as a T-Rex. You could call him the T-Rex of the ocean. Whoa, check him out. <laughs> Wow. He's really cool. Do you see that spot on his jaw that looks like a break? It's actually not a break in his jaw. It's a hinge. Tylosaurus could unhinge its jaw to swallow prey whole. Whoa! Did you hear that? Tyler can unhinge his jaw. <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen a hinge before. Yeah, a hinge goes like this. <laughs> Doors have hinges and Tyler has a hinge for his jaw. So he can open up really wide. <laughs> to eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me all about prehistoric creatures. <laughs> I'll see you later, Laura. Bye. There you go. <laughs> okay, let's keep looking for some more dinosaurs and fossils. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>
Whoa! Someone called the Tooth Fairy. Let's take a look. Open wide, Larry. <laughs> oh, nothing to worry about. Come on in. The water's fine. As you can see, there's not just one row of teeth. There's row after row after row. <laughs> Go ahead and close now, buddy. Open just a little bit, Larry. Whoa! Another tooth on the loose! That's why Larry's got all these rows of teeth. They're waiting in line for when the front teeth fall out whoop, and need to be replaced. Happens all the time. That's kind of like us humans when we're kids. Let's count. One, two, three, 56, 57, 58. I sure wish sharks could floss. 213! Oh, that sure is a lot of teeth to take care of. You're right. There can be as many as 300 teeth in a shark's mouth at any given time. And get this, through his whole life, Larry here can grow and lose as many as 50,000 teeth. That's a huge number. <laughs> All done, Larry. Woohoo! Wee! <laughs> Bless you! And I got the answer to my question. How many teeth does a shark have? Sharks have several rows of teeth, can have as many as 300 teeth at one time, and 50,000 over the course of their lives! <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for teaching us all about teeth, Dr. Paula. Bye, Blippi! Don't forget the boss! <laughs> <laughs>